YouTube, this is Love It The Retro Gamer here coming at you with a pickups video. I haven't done one of these in, I think, about six, eight months, something like that. Plus, I figured this would be a good type of video to come back with after being on another hiatus. We've had camera issues, I don't know what's been going on with it, but I think I finally got it working, so that's all good. Um, my floor's been flooded, so all my shit's up at the, up at the second floor. And yeah, so that's why it's not in its normal position. But anyway, forget all that, let's get to the pickups now. I don't often collect for Nintendo 64, I recently just started going to it, uh, because there were some games I wanted to get for it, and one of them is Hey Pikachu, to match my Hey Pikachu N64. I don't have the headset for it, so I really can't play it just yet, but I will eventually get the headset. Not what else I have to say about it, but it's Hey Pikachu. Next is Toy Story 2 for N64. I haven't played much of it, it seemed like a good platform on a Let's Play, so I figured I might as well pick it up. Next one is Jet Force Gemini for the N64. I have a little bit of childhood memories with this, not much. It seems okay though to be a, for a multiplayer game. I didn't really care much for the story from what I have played, not my thing I guess, but the multiplayer is pretty awesome and brings back some childhood memories. Next is F-Zero X for N64. I'm going to stop saying N64, so i got quite a few. So, F-Zero X, everyone knows what this is, I don't need to talk about it. It's a good game, I really like it. Didn't really grow up on it either. I think I maybe first played it when I was 18 or 19. It's a pretty fun game, I, I get it. Next was another late childhood game, and it's Perfect Dark. Really like this, a lot. A little bit better than GoldenEye as far as the storyline goes. I didn't care for the story in GoldenEye, it was only good for multiplayer. But, multiplayer sucks on this, so it kind of got reversed for, for this specific one. I guess they came out with it a year or two bef uh, before, after GoldenEye. Um, I guess they wanted to improve on it, maybe, maybe like make, I don't know, I don't know what they were doing with it, honestly. I'm just not going to say anything I don't know about, so I'm just going to shut up. Next up, we have Super Mario 64. Great game. Didn't get into it as a kid either. I wasn't an N64 kid, what can I say? I had a PlayStation, that was my main console of choice. Anyway, yeah, good game, pick it up. Now let's move on to the GameCube. We've got WrestleMania 19. This was the first WrestleMania I actually ever watched in a pay-per-view because all the other ones, I was into wrestling, but we never got it as a kid. But this was the first one I actually witnessed live. It was cool, and this game was pretty good. Uh, I liked some of the character selections they had. They actually had a good roster of characters in this one, unlike some of their past ones. Yeah, but good wrestling game. Pick it up if you like wrestling games. Next we have Geist. When I first got this game, I got it when it came out, and it was actually on sale at Best Buy for $10. Now, I didn't think much of it. I was like, okay, $10, I guess it must be an older game. But no, I found out that it was a pile of shit, for multiplayer especially. And then I sold it and got 12 bucks back. So I was paid $2 to get, to get Geist. But either way, I thought I'd take a second look at it, and if you really play the campaign, it's a pretty okay game, just the multiplayer still sucks ass. So if you're buying this for multiplayer, don't. <laughs> Try it for the story. The story's actually pretty good. You're, you're, um, what was it, you're a soldier, and you're going around trying to stop the bad guys. I didn't get much into it, that's all, I was just going over the plain scenario. And then you get killed and become a poltergeist or a ghost. And you get to possess, like, certain items or certain objects to scare your enemy, and then you can eventually possess them once they get scared enough. It's pretty neat. I would check it out. It's probably like 10 bucks now, maybe. Next. Yeah. Yeah. Metroid Prime. Finally. I love this game. Um, a friend of mine got it for me around the time it first came out. was addicted to it. Comes with a demo of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes as well. Didn't care for that one so much, but the first one was great. I would highly suggest it if you really like the Metroid Prime series. Next. Really glad I got this one. This is actually got some good pickups in this video. Um, Ikaruga. This is one of my favorite shmups. It may be the hardest one that I've ever played. It's a really good shmup though. I like the fact that you can switch over from light to dark, uh, defeat certain enemies, and to keep yourself alive. Um, when you have a dark ship coming at you, you can change to dark, and then it will go right through you. Or, I think it healed you, I don't remember. But you know, it went right through you, and then when you're light, you come up to a light enemy that shoots at you, it goes right through you. It's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't gotten past level 2 in this game, so if you're into hard shmups and want to pay about 50 bucks, this is for you. 
I've got one Dreamcast game for you, and that's Rayman 2. I'm not going to say much about it. Didn't grow up on Rayman 2. Didn't grow up on Rayman. So, it's a fun platformer. I'll just say that. Now we're going to go into the PlayStation. We have Razor Freestyle Scooter. It's a fun little Tony Hawk clone with scooters. I, I enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, I still enjoy it to this day. Um, pick it up. It's like a dollar. <laughs> Next pickup, and this is a sealed game, Tekken 3. I sold Tekken 2 to get it, because I didn't really grow up on Tekken 2. This was more of my, uh, this was more of my Tekken of choice as a child. Tekken 3. Great game. Pick, don't pick it up sealed unless you're a sealed collector. I'm not really a sealed collector, but I buy sealed games that are relics of my childhood, so there you go, Tekken 3. Now I would have shown this one first, but it's a, quite an uncommon game, and that's Tomba 2. I now complete my Tomba series, because I have the first one! I can't say much about it, this one either, <laughs> because I haven't played it yet. I got it because I really liked the first one. And this can't be much different than the first one. And if it is, then boo. But give me some info on this game, because I'm probably not going to touch it for a while. I've got some other games I still need to beat. So the next pickup is... I, I'm really, really, really happy to have this. And I'm going to say that quite a few times probably while opening it. Um, it's it's a sealed package, and it's it just came in the mail today. So... Let's flip over, and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so I've brought you into my messy-ass room to show you the final pickup. And it is a very special pickup, because this particular video game was the very first one I ever played. I have one open already, but I, I just had to get this sealed, because it, it just holds a special place in my heart, and I thought it would be awesome to just have a sealed copy of it. So let's get started by opening it. And wow, this is very well packaged. I'm really happy with the sellers. Um, way to package these things. Oh my god. I'm probably going to end up jump cutting if it takes too long. Oh no, it's bubble wrapped in there, so it's okay. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. This is really well bubble wrapped, like I'm really shocked. And here we are, a factory sealed copy of Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo. It comes with its own little protective case, let me take this out here. And as you can see, it, is a, it has an H seam, if it comes in through properly, it is properly packaged, so we know this is authentic. God, I'm really happy to have this, like this is a really, really awesome thing to find. Um, the whole thing with this was was I had, uh, I had to sell my SH Figuarts factory sealed Green Ranger uh, just to get this. Uh, so they really don't collect figures all that much. It really didn't mean much to me. I already have tons of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger stuff. So I figured I could just let that go. Uh, this was just awesome. I I'm really, really, really glad to get this. But yeah, that's all for this pickups. And let's uh, go back to you over there. Alright, as I said before, that is the end of my pickup video. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed getting them. Uh, but yeah, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you at a later date.